Hello everyone, what is going on? Spirit Wolf here, welcome along to the channel. Good afternoon to you all and welcome along to the Plucky Squire playthrough episode 3. So, currently, we are still on chapter 2 and in the last episode we, got, we made it to the Tomb Tower and met with the weird wizard who took over the uh, tower and he's causing havoc and bringing in monsters to the world. And in the climax, we teleported out of the book, and it looks like we are now in the Earth uh, realm of, uh, well, where the humans are, I'm guessing. So, no idea where we got to go. Uh, we don't have our sword with us no more, so we can no longer attack, and we can't do any dodging or anything. So let's crack on. And find out where we need to go. I don't want to jump off the table. Hit, 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 hit. So I don't know if I've got to jump on the book again. Oh no, I've got to go over here. Are you friendly or foe? I'm guessing I go this way. Hit, 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 hit. Oh. The plucky square. Oh, hello. This is there someone out there? Would be, would you be so kind as to open the lid of, uh, hold triangle and push. Do you remember me, Jot? We met in your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit from book to book, but you Jot, are a character from a book and shouldn't really be out here. It's Humgrump's uh, Grump's magic that bla blasted you out of the book, uh, out of the page, and into onto this desk, isn't it? Well, how we'll have to get you back into your book, Jot. It is of utmost priority. In or other worlds, very important. Or words, you know, there are some interesting items on this desk. Some of them might help you return. Head around the corner to the left, and we'll try and find out. Uh, find one. Alrighty. So we got some grapes and a carrot. I'm just going to take a carrot with me. Oh, hell with a carrot! Oh, what's this do? Hello there again. Do you see that magical spiring uh, green thing? That's a magical portal that is, it seems to allow travel between different worlds. Most characters cannot travel through these portals or press pass between realms, but you're, you're already made that leap once. Maybe you could do it again. Try jumping through the portal, young squire. I'm guessing I can't use it. Well, that poopity poop. Unless I got to hold it. Oh, there we go. Remarkable. Some of that magic. Uh, something must have rubbed off on you, Jot. Let like me. It seems you now have the power to leap between worlds. Now this world here is a sketch that was drawn by the 
occupant of this room and the owner of your storybook jaw a young boy named Sam. He's a very creative child. You'll find his sketches all over this desk. Since you can jump into them, maybe you can use them to get around. Low energy, too hungry to move, too hungry to, uh, please get me a snack. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to need, I'm guessing we're going to need the carrot to move her, or him. What did I do with a carrot? <clears throat> okay. Delicious. Carrot boosts energy levels restored. Oh, am I in your way? Sorry about that. Here, let me scooch. The... All right, let's go over here, nothing over there. How do I get up there? Nothing here. How do I get up there? Meh. Oops. Well, I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. Aha! Victory is mine. Good going, young squire. I believe that the item that you can that can help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen, on your way, you may run into creepy. Uh, crawlies. Beetles, Sam likes to call them as pets, you see. Beware, Jot, don't get eaten. It simply wouldn't do. Okay. Uh-oh. Hold circle or R2 to move without making a sound. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Okay, I need to knock over those. Nope. Uh. 
I'm guessing I need to bring the dice with me. Aha! Victory! Well, we just died. <laughs> oh, that was close. Jot, uh, you made it. My fears have been uh, allied. It seems that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note, while you are here, there is something that you really must uh, observe. <coughs> These sketches of you quite... A remarkable likeness I must assist uh, the person who drew all this is called Sam he is the boy who lives in this room and is the owner of your storybook as you might be able to tell he is very fond of you and your adventures I'm glad you I'm glad that you got to see this job to see how much you mean to him But there is no time to dwell on that. Your quest to re-enter the book is near its pinnacle. The item you need is just beyond this sketchbook. Press on. Ah, alrighty. Okay, the dice is all the way over there. Is there anything else here we should know about? No. Alright, can't get up there. Oh, we gotta go all the way around. I wonder. Yeah, it looks like we gotta go all the way around. Damn it. This is gonna be a pain. I see where we need to go. Oh, 
Go, 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 go. There we go. It's a shame I don't have my sword. I can get these bushes for the more light bulbs. Oops, did not want to do that. Hello, what is this? Jock got the turn gauntlets. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. Press L2 or R2 when next to the book to open it up. You got the gauntlets. Experiment. Uh, head back to your book. Post heist. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave this table, Jaw, it is very important. Beware of hum, uh, hum Grump. He wishes to make take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is one of those children, Jot. You know us bookworms were able to glimpse or something grow, glimpse the past, present, and even the future. I've seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and interpreter or something himself. He will create a series of very popular children's books with very uh, diddly. Sam's books will go on to inspire many other children. That is if he ever actually writes them. If Hungrump takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them by uh, anymore. Those books lose all of their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam and then who knows what path he will take. Do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop Hungrump. <clears throat> Run! Nope, oh, we've lost our dice. Okay, L... L2? R2? Oh, both of them together. Oop. Sming beard. Jot, my lad, welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. Chapter three, Moon Beard. I seem to 
future rather uh feature rather something in this chapter better put my best foot forth then Greetings, lad. Hey, Jock, glad you're back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions. The answer to the first question is, yes, I am aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second question is, yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas. I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow that uh, diddly, hum grump found out. Very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's planning. I have a hench that big trouble is on the way. But that just means, young squire, that we must be double the trouble. Follow me. First order of business, getting in and out of the book. See that green sparkle stuff over there? Uh, that is, it lets you break the fourth wall, which is another way of saying jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding the triangle button. What's a triangle button? Not entirely sure, but you should press and hold it. Testing, testing. Jo, I'm talking to you, Veal Run Ruin te uh, Tooth headset. What the hell's a Ruin Tooth? You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather pe uh, peckish. Wizards are like. Use your page turning abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Seems like you can use left analog stick, left and right to turn pages. Best get it to it then. Well, how do I turn it? It's not letting me turn. Ah, you see that glow around the edge of the paper? That's the book telling you there's something useful on its page. Try jumping in and seeing what you can find. Okay, I did see where right, so there's two houses. Oh, there is a scroll. Need that. Sketching how top-down character might look featuring an early Moonbeer design. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the drink. My fizzy pop, that will do very nicely. Head back here and drop off the that pop. First of all, I want to go over to this other house as well. Yes, 
you find a second lost uh, garlic bird. It will return to its home with joy in its little heart. Pop time! That's a ticket, thanks lad. Those turn gauntlets can be very handy, don't you think? I was the one that put them on the desk. I've sorted a number of useful items out there, but there's one small problem. I'm not sure of their pr uh, present location. Things get moved around. Sam is full of energy. You know it's chaos out there. When you need one of those items on the desk, you'll just have to search for yourself. Last point of order. Mini Beard, yo, I hear you've already met. Mini Beard is a teeny, uh, teeny of me. I created him to help out around the house. He's quite helpful and rather good at puzzles, you know. If you're having trouble with a puzzle and you see him around, why not ask his advice? There's a lot of wisdom stored in that teeny beard, bearded head. Jot. Our land has never been troubled by something quite like Hungrump's magical before. There may be great uh, and big battles ahead, but I have faith you'll rise the, uh, to whatever challenges are thrown our way. You are the plucky squire after all. I believe in you. Always have, lad. Now I expect that your friends are waiting for you. If you leave the book and turn to the next page, I'll think... I think you'll find them. But, 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 oh. We've lost your eye. Oh, well. Jot. Dude, you're right. Wait, you're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't trash. Look at his face. That's his normal uh, face. So happy to see it. Jot, where, where, where were you? Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm talking to you via a device known as a ruined tooth headset. This is a strange magical form of communication known as a conference call. All very exciting. Now listen up. This business with Hungrump is rather worrying. We must uh, consult with Queen uh at city you three should head there now i've got some wizard business to attend to and a donut to eat i'll join you kids later i'll find you in one in on the blah, 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 blah. moonbeard out <clears throat> okay so it looks like we gotta go to a city next can we take my sword? Yay, we have my sword. Beautiful, we got the sword back. We can roly poly. Onwards we go.
And so our heroes set off to Artia City to visit the good Queen Chroma. Chapter 4 A Treacherous Trail On the way to Artia, our heroes took a shortcut through the aquatic land known as the Sonnet Swamps. Well, this is Unknown Territory, kiddos. Jo your story has never taken you to this area. You're off script now. No happy endings guarantee you could get splatted, eaten by a huge frog. Who knows? Although these swamps are usually rather... Uh, as far as I gather, the residents here are quite keen on... If you're ever what if you if you've ever wanted to hear a uh, hear your chance, neither less you Moonbeard looks like ruined tooth doesn't work so well in the swamps. I guess we'll get connected again once we're on the other side. Alrighty, so we are now on the start of chapter four, so I am going to leave it here for this one. Really hope you all enjoyed it. Please do smash that like button, slap any comments down below, and make sure you slap that great big red support button and notification bell for the next upload or go live. But until next time, peace out.